Yo, what's up guys? One of those interesting accounts. This account does have quite a few LDs, but a few LDs actually caught my interest, which is the combination of having a Seraph plus a Lucifer. I did showcase those kind of themes before, but back in those days, it was just very simple to use this, maybe with like a Gemini, and then you just have your Leo hits, Leo hits 5k. I would definitely recommend using this with a Gemini rather than a, a Robo, but the thing is what you could do is just as long as your leo hits 5k lucifer passive will kick in because of the lucifer passive you will take a turn and therefore you can start doing your stuff issue that you have in current meta you have a lot of camillas you have a lot of bionchils you have a lot of vanessas um you have a lot of junos if you have those teams or even this team there's nothing that the leo can hit to do 5k damage to maybe this one but it's it is difficult so it is hard and same for this team there's maybe you can hit this one for 5k but it has the damage reflection so you're not sure if they add in a lot of shield sets which it is pretty common to have shield sets on the vanessa you can simply not use a lucifer like this however there is a way and i would call that the new way probably some people out there are already doing this but there is a different way how you can use your lucifer where you don't care that much about your Leo doing enough damage or not. But let me show you how that works. Just did a bit of reruning. We got a Gemini in there with a will set and then double enhance. I do highly recommend enhance, especially if you do have a Zerath, I would recommend to farm more enhance. This would have preferably be triple enhance as well. And the thing is, we don't care about Leo doing 5k damage anymore because we made a Swift Lucifer. And why might you ask Swift Lucifer? Well, Swift Lucifer is interesting because he actually gives extra bar to the whole team. Plus, he absorbs from your own team and from the deals damage to the enemy team. And for that reason, his full passive will be activated and then your final unit can move. Issue, however, is there's not too many units fitting that final slot. Zerath, insanely good. Talisman, insanely good. Anything else that would do high damage from HP would be very good. Or anything that gives a self attack buff would be very good but those options are pretty limited but let's see what we can hit with this and how good it is because normally this one none of these units you could actually hit with a leo but because of this and because of the of course gemini in there i do think we can outspeed a clara this way so let's see we just have to outspeed the clara the runes on this account are not super fast for swifts but I do think we can outspeed this. And this is definitely one of those options you normally could not outspeed. Issue is we can't really see if we do or do not outspeed in this case. We do. So let's see how much damage output we have. We have over here. We I tried to get as low crit rate as possible on the Gemini. But it still ended up 19 crit rate. Which can hurt from time to time. How much damage we do. We do a good 60k damage. Which is a lot and a lot of damage. But yeah if we don't land those armor breaks. Shit is still pretty darn bad. Especially if we do get a slow over there. Uh, we do get the armor break this time. But that was when it was not needed. <laughs> we get cucked by these units again. Always getting cucked by these units, right? Well, I think we're still kind of fine. If he doesn't go for mad shit over there. Can we kill? Doesn't kill. Uh, this can probably kill both right now. Kill, please. Thank you. Okay, that perfectly worked out. <laughs> but yeah, this was one of those specific teams that you could never hit with your um, Leo team normally. But in this case, you could. Let's see about this one. Yeah, you could hit this one, but it would have been tricky for a few reasons. But this can be tricky actually now as well. So let's just give it a try. Uh, we do have the issue with the, um, what's it called? With the, 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 your comeback skill. So this could normally do enough damage anyways. So this one is a little bit less um, caring. Let's see, once again, we missed the armor break on the Camilla. That's just not great. Very strong thing about Zerath is it actually lowers the HP of all of the units combined, kind of. And then does its hit. Which does mean if your Lucifer already did do some damage to it, you're going to have an insane hit on that one afterwards. So, with that reason, especially for this, with the combination of the Zerath and the Lucifer, it becomes super strong. The only issue is... That stupid thing on the left just has to start hitting its skills. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get another torrent kill on this. Because that's probably the only way. And that's not really helping that much. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, torrent kills. I hope, I pray, I don't know. 42k, that's not that much. 
Okay, we died. So I definitely do think that this is very killable. We just have to uh, land the Camilla as well. That for, for that reason, you really need 15. And I couldn't do 15 because one of those, yeah, this one has four in there. Would not really recommend to remove that. But I would absolutely recommend to get more... Uh, well, I think the Leo is kind of fine on current build with Rage. It, it does give a little bit of chances of comebacks as well. So uh, we did miss that one, but that is totally fine still. Can we finally land on that one? We do finally land on that. We don't land on this one. Let's see if we can actually go for a kill on the Camilla too. We don't fully kill Camilla. So you are a little bit by the mercy of if you do tend to do enough damage with your Zerath as well. And if uh, even more by the mercy if your Gemini landed everything. That's... I guess the harder one on this one. Um, I think there's no other option than a Gemini in here, actually. And th th that's kind of the sad part about it. So I do think that this is probably the best way to clear it. Could we outspeed this? Well, this thing could be pretty fast. Let's just give it a try. In this case, I would say that keeping your rage uh, on your Leo and maxing it out on the crit rate is probably better because then you could make sure that you can hit that anyways. And if you hit that, then you can definitely go for a clear. So if you get those kind of things where your Gemini just hits everything, 80k across the board, easy kill. So I don't even think you need more enhanced runes because you're already like hella over killing things anyways the moment that things do tend to land. This one could be tricky in the sense of um, there could be something... Well, the, the, the Rakan could be faster than your unit in the first place. Chandra could be minus wind and therefore maybe a lot of shields and therefore... You're not going to get the skills in properly, so that could be issues as well. Let's see. Oh, fucking Gemini, man. Fucking, fucking Gemini. Gemini does not want to perform. I do think that your Leo should be full on damage on uh, water, because I think that's the most annoying thing that you would struggle killing. And the moment you kill that one more cleanly, then this would be fine. So... Gemini is uh, making it a showcase of long matches where everything should be a very fast match. But Gemini is like, nope, 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 nope. We, we, we like the long matches for some apparent reason. Maybe you can even put damage to Gemini or make Gemini Vio. Well, if you make Gemini Vio, I'm not sure if I would do that. You could make it Despair, though. I think that would be probably the better take on it. But in this case... Even though we missed on a few, we still did more than enough damage. But I would say that you probably have to get something creative in the last slot to kill everything. And that something creative could be pretty much just the Talisman or a Zerath, which is another LD5, which might not be that easy to do. But let's see. Okay, so this one might definitely be one of those teams that would be way too tanky for your Leo to do enough damage if they have shield runes and if they do have minus wind. So in that case... Uh, in this case, we actually do enough. Well, that's a bad take as well. <laughs> now we kind of have to strip again. Okay, we did manage to strip on everyone that's important, actually. So then, pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. So yeah, and then against uh, a Leo will pretty much always win a half as It just might take a little bit of time of getting a good RNG rotation in for armor breaks, but you should always win this 1v1. There's pretty much no way that you would lose this, but it might take a little bit of time to get like a good rotation in. Plus the Gemini would have to strip some things at the right moment, armor break things at the right moment, and then sneeze at it at the right moment, but it sneezed at it at the wrong moment. So, yep, then it just takes a little bit extra time. Ah, great stun. Great, a great moment to stun, but if we do this, would we just straight up kill right now? Oh, that doesn't do any damage. Didn't know. Learned something new. But I think we're below the threshold of its HP, so I guess we should be fine, especially for Torrent. Yay! 77k. So yeah, Lucifer Torrent uh, does make a, a very strong Torrent as well. So definitely do think that... I, I did hear a lot of people say like, ah, oh, Lucifer is not that great right now. It's too hard to get the hits in and that kind of stuff. I can understand that. But this might be an option where you could say, like, hey, this actually does work out for me to make it work. Against the Samaths, I feel like it's a little bit tricky. Against Samaths like this, I might almost say it's better to drop in that Mephisto. But would I? I'm not too sure about that. In this case, it would actually be better probably to just go for a uh, Mephisto and then add in the Gemini still. And then have your Leo just one-shot that Samath. Because most Samaths in this case are pretty squish. I'm not sure if there's a Mephisto in here. 
Is there a Mephisto? Mephisto, Mephisto, Mephisto. Can't seem to find one. The one over here. Nope, there's apparently no Mephisto on this account. But that would be an option, and then you would have to probably remove the Lucifer in this case. But those are options that you could go for. Oh, no, wait. Then you keep the Lucifer, you remove that thing. But yeah. So in this case, definitely a team that could be too tank to hit. But with this, we can definitely outspeed it and then hit it and then do our stuff. Sure, there's a lot of options where you would be like, ah, but say I can easily still hit the 5k on this thing. It's like, yeah, but not necessarily. Oh, that thing in that case was actually kind of fast, or it was Nem, I'm not sure. But we didn't do the 5k here because there's a lot of shield sets. And because of that, there's, wow, even the shield sets remain after that. I, I do hate Gemini. <laughs> I do already hate Gemini for not landing its shit. That's, that is kind of the bad issue about this. All oh, Gemini. G Gemini is going to be that unit that you're going to be hating if you're using this. But yeah, that's that's just is what it is. I can't uh, make that anything else. I don't think that there's a better option than a Gemini in here, I would say. Not too sure. Maybe in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you could think of a better option than a Gemini. Or better options than these things both uh, taking six turns both. <laughs> but yeah, the moment that the team does work fully, it does an insane amount of damage. But the issue is that it happens pretty often that the team doesn't work as fully as you would like it to work. So that part, yeah, for that reason. For that reason. Is it therefore bad? No, I wouldn't really claim this a bad team by all means. I do think that this team can clear a lot of stuff. But I would recommend to, besides your Lucifer team like this... Also have some other teams out there that could maybe help you out with another team. So this is definitely one of those teams. This is the perfect example that I mean, where Leo could not hit 5k on any of those units. If they have shield runes, 100%, you're not going to hit 5k on any of those units. But with this team, since you have the boost of the Lucifer, you can actually hit this. And if we provide, finally, all armor breaks on all units, especially now we have the uh, shield runes on it okay we did land all of those yes we did miss on the camilla but i think we kill everything else then nearly so yeah if we killed the camilla or if we did land on the camilla i think we would have nearly killed it as well so yeah i can definitely see the potential on this so maybe a little bit more damage would actually help to kill the bjornjols too but this is a pretty nice bjornjol killer in the first place so this is absolutely a team of a new style that I would recommend of maybe something that you haven't thought of to make your Lucifer into a booster because the S2 is in the end a booster. If things nemesis on the enemy side, it is not that bad because you'd also do damage. If you do over the 5k, you're still boosting a little bit more. Plus you have that boost of 20% of the Lucifer itself. So I definitely do think that if I were to play this account, I would absolutely be using this. Uh, this one, yeah, I think for that reason, you still probably maybe remove this and go back to a Leo that's 100 crit rate and then high crit damage, because then you can do both. So in the case that you would say like, oh, in this case, I will get outsped, but I can hit the Zen probably pretty easily, then you could still go for that. But in this case, it could still be a thing like if the Zen is high on shield runes, which it is in this case, we did still do enough damage to hit the 5k. But it might be like, oh, the Zen was actually Vio, so I still outspeed with the uh, Lucifer, and then I can still go for my skills. And then my uh, Gemini can be a shithead again for absolutely not landing anything. Thank you, Gemini. Thank you. <laughs> this unit just doesn't want to land its shit, so... Yeah, if that unit was properly landing its shit, then it would have been a good offense. That's, that's... Name of the game, I guess. Name of the game. Can we still win this? Yeah, we can definitely still win this. Let's clear you out first. That thing is super freaking tanky. Well, if I would put it on defense, I guess I would make it super tank as well. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that thing was so low on HP that it would absolutely hurt. And it killed the Leo. That part is a little bit less good. And then Gemini managed to get resisted three more times. <laughs> this Gemini is really not doing my thing today, man. Like, if, the, if you have a good rotation of Gemini just doing its thing and it's doing it good... You're going to be on a nice uh, nice offense. If not, it's going to be looking wonky like this. I want to hit this again because I so feel like that. If I just land everything, it is so easily done. It is just so, so easily done. Wait, he's out of... I don't want to... No, he already did all of those. Okay, so I'm pretty sure... Wait, what kind of defense he's rocking himself? I'll just hit the, his own defense. He doesn't have a bunch of so I'll just trying out this thing. I do think that you can kill the whole team if you do land all of your armor breaks. But then you get into the issue if you land all of your armor breaks. <laughs> That's just like, yeah. So in this case, we didn't do the fi uh, 5k. So 
in that case whole enemy team would move so this is a perfect example where if we do that skill right now we land everything over here. man this fucking gemini gemini you're 80 fucking five accuracy land shit holy fuck i want to showcase something it's not that hard gemini land god damn it gemini I want one rotation where Gemini just lands everything for the love of God. It should not be this difficult to have a Gemini land shit. Uh, that's why we like to use units with multiple hits of defense breaking. Finally, Gemini lands everything. Okay, we go for this skill. Can we... Yep, then we just kill everything. Well, that was a kind of a low hit on the Camilla. I think Camilla's in general would still survive that. But I do think that this is probably the best way of using your Lucifer. Because there's just too many shield sets out there. And things that you can't hit with your Leo and therefore your whole Lucifer comp doesn't work in high ranks. But a Lucifer booster might actually work. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other comps that you might want me to showcase on your account. If you have anything that I didn't showcase in previous videos yet. Let me know on DM in Discord. Or if you have any other teams that you just want to share by just putting it in the comments. Let me know as well. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more guides, join the Discord and check out the content tab, which has the dungeon guide archive and the video guide archive, which contains all of the guides that you need. Hope to see you there.